Hi guys, welcome back to R Programming. Last time we looked at functions, this time we're going to look at conditional statements, i.e. the if, else, and else, if statements. So if, else, and else, if, I can't spell tonight, it's if. So what we'll do is create a couple of variables. We'll say, um, Let's do um, my bank account. So we've got 120 quid in there. Um, and let's say accounts active equals, let's say true, Boolean. So we could say if if my bank account has got more than zero, so we know it's got 120, then we can set the value of account active to true. So we say it's false at the moment actually, because it's already set to true. So basically what it's saying is if I've got more than zero so greater than zero in my bank account then the value of my account is equal to true so I've got an active account to run those lines so that's a single if statement and then I could just say um, whatever the value of this statement is so I could return account active status now at the end so it's now true because it's set it's a true based on that command. So if I could just if I said that it's less than zero, say it's a true, it would be false because actually I've got 120 quid in my account, so it's not less than zero, it's not in negative. So we'll see. We'll set that back to what it should be, and that returns true again. As a different example, I could use if set to that set a variable um, let's say um, accounts active again this time set it to new this time set account active new equal to one so I could say if accounts active new is equal to double assignment, it's not an assignment operator, if you're using um, equal to, then you have to use double equals. If it was not equal to in R, it's not equal to. I'll provide a link to a list of um, operators, these are operators, later on. So if account active is equal to one, then we'll just print Gary has some money in his bank okay and then I'll do that oh, got to run that variable so it knows that I've got one pound in my bank say um, so the account active note is equal to one then carry us some money if it's not equal to one that's gonna fall down so it prints nothing because it's got no other condition. It's got no else statement to it. So, so speaking of else statements, then let's expand to the one. So if let's put that back to a hundred. So it's, no, basically it's saying if I've got an active account, then one. Otherwise, set it to zero. Say. So if I use the else command, that has to follow after the curly brace, and you open another curly brace else and uh, I could set it back to zero so if I've got an active account Gary has an active account should have put that was an error before so one for active zero for not else and I can set the account active new equal to to zero and print 
um, no active account. So what that does, I know that it's one. Gary has an active account, change that to zero. Run all those lines again. No active account. So I've set it to zero and I printed it as no active account. So if I set that back to one, Gary has an active account. So it gives you a con another conditional statement. So if it's equal to one, then print that. Otherwise, set a variable equal to zero and print I've not, not got an active account. Next thing we're going to look at is the else if statement. So we're going to have multiple conditions here. So we're going to say games one. So say we're playing cards or something and I've won 20 games. So I'm going to say if games one is less than Ten, then print out. Let's just reduce this console window slightly. Print out. You're not very good at this game. Okay. So then we start the else if statement here. It's got a space. We break it again. So if that is part of that if statement there we start another set of curly braces if you click on one curly brace it will highlight the other so it shows you which one it links to else if and I'm going to pass a command into my else if sorry I'm going to say games1 is greater than or equal to 10 and and um, games one. So if it's greater than ten but less than twenty, then print still need to work on your A game. Keep going. So now I'm going to say finally else if games one is greater than greater than or equal to twenty, then then print getting good. So it says, I know it's 20. If my games one is less than 10, not very good. Else if games one is greater than or equal to 10 and games one is less than or equal to 20, then print still need some work on your A game. Else if games one is greater than or equal to 20, then print getting good. Okay. So now I run that line. Oh, something's gone awry here. Some second. Sorry about that, guys. I missed out one of these um, brackets here, curly brackets. So I run this whole command, and it says that I'm getting good because I know that my games one is greater than twenty. So let's say it's uh, currently at fifteen. Oops, gonna run it all again. Still need to work on your A game because I know that greater than or equal to 10 and less than 20 15 is going to fall into that part of the code if I say that my games one's only 5 then you're not very good at this game so yeah essentially then because it knows 5 and that's less than 10 it defaults to this part of the code basically that's how you use if, else if or actually I could then just complete this command by using an else command as well. So if it's any other value, we could print out another range. So if I print out nothing entered, so nothing entered, then it should work. 
So because it's five, but if I set it to um, blank, it's still seeing as that. Oops, it's asking me to save breakpoints. With the final else statement, if it's any other value than these, or it doesn't recognize it, it will print out, there's nothing entered, or unknown value is probably a better way to put it. Unknown value. Yeah, so essentially that's how you use a if, else if, else statement. This one is a if else, um, and that's just a basic if statement. Um, I'd advocate splitting it across lines because you can combine them all into one line but it makes it really unreadable for other people when they inherit some of your scripts so yeah just bear that in mind um, but essentially that's it for how you'd use an if else if statement if else and else if statement please catch me next time when we're starting to undertake some looping so some iterative statements catch me next time guys